I've noticed black people have the genius to put the curse word after they say the race of the person. <laughs> Where white dudes, we always put it in front. And if we would just make that little adjustment, we could save so many careers, so many jobs could be saved in the white community if we would just put it after. You never notice that in conversation, you hear a black guy being like, man, I was standing there, this Asian motherfucker came in, he starts talking about, uh, you don't even hear it. You just sit there, oh, what did this Asian motherfucker do? I would love to hear the rest of this story, right? Dude, I would tell the exact same story, right? I'm standing there, right? This fucking Asian comes in, right? Everybody's all like, whoa, whoa, hey, easy, 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 dude. What year is it, you know? It's like, dude, I just said what he said. I just preempted the fuck. That's all I did. He suggested he's hooking up with people's mothers. I'm not even doing that. It's just a quick... I got it out of the way. You guys saw the Pope die? You saw that, right? Everyone was flipping out, man. I thought that was a good thing. I was, like, happy for him, man. He was in horrible health. You know what I mean? Everybody just wanted the guy to keep hanging on. And people are still flipping. Oh, my God, I think he's gonna die. It's like, well, I think he's gonna go to heaven. I mean, it's gotta be better than that shit. So they got a new pulp now, they picked another old white dude, you know? And uh, they were actually in the running was this black dude from uh, Nigeria, right? They were actually considering making him the pulp. And I was kind of hoping he was gonna win, you know? Not because I give a fuck either way, I just wanted to see all the black comics doing bits like the next day, like, oh, white people scared now! White people is scared now! Yeah, the pulp is black and shit! Couldn't you just feel it? That was like a half hour material that went out the fucking window the second they picked another white dude. It was endless. Pope Mobile's gonna be pimped out, and you better not be shooting at this Pope. A black Pope will be shooting back at your ass. Cause when white people get shot, etc., etc. So I sit down, and I'm watching this documentary as a white dude, which is what I am. I'm looking out my white head, watching this white shit. It's coming back into my white eyes, getting whiter by the fucking second. All right? Now my wife, on the other hand, She's black, right? Now, I hate saying that, because it makes it seem like I'm gonna start doing some stupid comparison jokes. You know, those dumb white guy, black guy jokes? And you know, it's always like the white guy's like, oh, Jesus, I gotta, I gotta do my taxes. Can this chair hold me? And the black guy's always like, you need to loosen up. You gotta relax, man. You just gotta let it happen. All right? It's always the same stupid fucking joke. I hate those jokes, you know, because they're easy. And it's been my experience that it's just not true. You know, 15 years of being with her, there's really no difference, you know, because at the end of the day, it's a woman. <laughs> All right? It's going to be the same fights. I don't give a fuck who you're with. I'm not going to lie to you. There might be more head movement and hand gestures <laughs> with different races of women possibly an index finger jabbing at your forehead, whatever the fuck that is. But at the end of the day, it's the same fights. What's going on with us? Do you need to work on this? Why don't we communicate better, right? So she starts watching this shit as a black person, right? And uh, she's seeing all the racism, obviously, that I'm seeing, but she was catching all this subtle shit that I was too white to see, but I knew I was missing it because I just kept hearing her huffing and puffing, just sitting next to me being like, ah. And I'm just sitting there like, okay, somebody did something. <laughs> I don't know what just happened, but I don't think that was good. So I've been seeing this girl recently. Uh, it's a black girl, right? She lives up in Harlem, you know? Gone out like three, four times, you know? First time we hung out, we hung out in like the village area in New York, you know, which is sort of like a racially mixed area. So she was cool, you know what I mean? Second time we hung out was more like Midtown, you know? Then the third time, she called me at like 3.30 in the morning, and she wanted me to come up to her apartment, right? So it's 3.30 in the morning, she lives in Harlem, I look how I look, so it's a fucking situation. <laughs> yeah, cause you know the deal, right? Basically a white dude feels comfortable up to about like 98th, 99th street, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> the second the streets start getting into like triple digits, like 100, 101st street, start getting like a little asthma, I'm like, ah, oh, fuck, you're starting to get a little high up here. You feel that little tightness in your chest? Can you feel that? 106th street, you're like leaning on shit, like, dude, where'd all the cabs go? How come there's no taxis up here? Dude, what's a bodega? I don't know what that is. Let's get, let's get the fuck out of here. Shut the door. Uh, get me some water, though. Come back. Jesus Christ. Yes, you're, I'm a man. I asked you to do something. You're a woman. You go and you do it and you don't ask questions. Bill, I swear to God. So anyway, it's like I was saying. They're sitting there bitch moaning and complaining about all this stuff they don't have. But we... You, you, 
you know? And it's like, you fucking outlive us. Really? You outlive us. Well, you know what? You have a birthday coming up. I know exactly what I'm getting you. Big bag of Fritos. You're an asshole. <laughs> yeah, so they're always bitch moaning and complaining about what they don't have, right? You know, do they ever look around and see what they do have? A whole fucking platoon of shoes, huh, that their guy paid for. I'll tell you what I have. Right? <laughs> for a husband. Oh, snap. 12 to 6 right there, baby. <laughs> hey, Nian, you know why I make more an hour than you? Because I'm better than you. <laughs> Actually, I have this black dude moved in my building, man. Lives on the same floor as me. He's one of these dudes. Every time, he's, he's hilarious. Every time he says some shit, right after he's done saying this, he repeats like the most important part of like the previous sentence. It's hilarious. Everything he said will be like, yo, my man came in. He put that shit on the table. Put it on the table. <laughs> yo, this country's at war, son. War. <laughs> I'm just looking at my friend like, dude, did you hear him the first time? Because I, I heard him the first time. I was smiling. I was nodding. Actually, I got a couple of uh, friends of uh, African persuasion. I got to get rid of them, man. I got to admit to you. I'm fine. I'm spending too much money on clothes hanging out with them. It's like every time they go out, they got all brand new shit on. So when I show up, with my white version of brand new, which is, you know, I basically, I ironed the shit, right? I ironed it, right? It's new. They just start trashing me. And I don't give a shit what fucked up color their shirt is. They got a pair of shoes to match it and a hat. It's like a rule or something. Because God forbid you wear the same shirt within a 10-day period. One of them's going to notice. All of a sudden, just look at you funny like, this motherfucker's got the same shit he had on last Tuesday. You got a hold on me. Smart enough, fell off my seat. I'm fine. You walk to me inside a cross Our eyes locked in between Spark was lit and you and me a sign It's true Said I Actually funny, you know what? That's actually how, uh, how I judge black guys now When I first came to the city, like, all black people scared me No, I was like the typical white dude from like the suburbs, you know what I mean? I had no frame of reference, you know? So my only frame of reference with black people was like those, Remember those early 90s gangster rap videos? Throw the f***ing LA riots in there, man? Horrible PR. I'm watching the videos. Look, he's got a nice car. He's got all the women, and he's still fucking mad. <laughs> These black dudes are never happy. But after 10 years of living in the city, this is how I narrow it down. Whether well, black dude scares me now. Black dudes with dirty sneakers scare the fucking shit out of me. <laughs> I figured it out in my head, because I know from hanging out with them, that's the last shit that they're going to let go. The immediate shit that they have on. So I think, you know, if his sneakers are fucked up, that means his life is fucked up. Every time he leaves his building, the whole neighborhood, oh, shit! <laughs> Everyone starts making fun of him. He's on the train in a bad mood. I kind of have this howdy doody, kind of mug me kind of face. Now, I'm not saying something's gonna happen. I'm just saying, I'm paying attention. I used to be back here down the south, man. I had a real weird experience last time I came down here. I was in Nashville, right? Sort of an awkward social situation, right? I'm sitting at this bar. There's this white dude sitting like two stools away. I don't know him. He doesn't know me. And that Terrell Owens story was in like sports news. So I try to make conversation. I'm like, man, look at this guy. This guy just signed a $40 million contract. He's already bitching, man. How much money do you need to make? And the dude looks at me. He's like, you know what I say? And then he looked over his shoulder, which I now know is the telltale sign that the N-word is coming. <laughs> and it's coming hard. Oh, yeah, it's not going to be pronounced with the A. It's going to be with the R. And he hit the R. He, like, stuck the landing. It was like a dismount. Clan members high-fiving in the background, like, doing the wave. Just out of nowhere. So now, immediately, I'm looking over my shoulder, like, dude, what the hell are you doing? You know what I mean? I'm waiting for, like, this hail of black fists to come raining down on top of me. I hate when people do stuff like that. That dude made me part of, like, a potential ass-kicking that I had nothing to do with. You don't do shit like that. He just had that word, hot potato, just threw it in my lap. Like, ah! <laughs> Trying to pass it down to the next white dude. I hate when people do that, man. You know, it's like, dude, feel me out first. <laughs> Ask some questions. Do you like to fish? Have you ever fucked your sister, right? I start rattling off answers, then you go old school. You give me a pamphlet, you tell me about your militia. You don't just dive into it. That dude was one of the angriest people I ever met. I should have known that word was coming, because he was just watching Terrell, right? Anytime I would bring up, look at man, that guy's talking trash, he would just like flip out. He won't shut up! <laughs> You know those people get like so mad they're not even looking at you? 
The eyes are up. You just shit. Yo, let's talk about a real issue at hand. Trash piling up. It's time to take a stand. From plastic bottles to styrofoam cups. Our planet is drowning. It's time to wake up. Garbage trucks roll. Streets lined with waste. But where does it go? It's not a race. To the landfill and mountain of despair. But we can change course. Show that we care. Trash talk, it's more than just words It's about actions, the change we deserve Reduce, reuse, recycle That's the plan for a cleaner, greener earth Let's take a stand Trash talk, it's more than just words It's about actions, the change we deserve Reduce, reuse, recycle That's the plan for a cleaner, greener earth Let's take a stand Single-use plastics, they gotta go From straws to bags, it's time to say no Bring your own cup, your own tote bag Small steps add up Let's not lag, sorting all waste is not that tough Recycling centers, that's where it's rough Separate paper, glass and cans Give them a new life, that's the plan Trash talk, it's more than just words It's about actions, the change we deserve Reduce, reuse, recycle That's the plan for a cleaner, greener earth Let's take a stand but it's not just about the stuff we toss It's about the mindset, there's no loss Composting food waste, it's a win Turning scraps to soil, let's begin Educate the masses, from young to old The future's at stake, let the story unfold For the sake of our planet, our home sweet home Let's clean up our acts, together we roam Trash talk, it's more than just words It's about actions, the change we deserve Reduce, reuse, recycle That's the plan for a cleaner, greener earth Let's take a stand Get up and play the game! <laughs> you know what's funny? I don't even like Terrell, but now I love the guy Because every time I see him talking trash I know this idiot in Nashville Is just losing his mind, like kicking over his kitchen TV Shut the